having spaces that inspire creativity is so helpful. I am already just like so excited. Hey Google, pause, because we don't want to get a copyright claim on our channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are continuing the work of reorganizing the working room. I am already just like so excited. Peter just put this up, as you guys saw, and I started to figure out all the things on my desk and get things organized. I have my different little containers where things go. And then there's this sort of situation. We'll get there one step at a time. And let's see, I think we've decided to leave this rolling cart out here. I was gonna put it under my desk, but I truly do. I keep the paper cutter on top and I use that. So it is good to have it out here as another like countertop sort of thing. All of this is kind of vintage merch that needs to go up to the third floor. Now these are like the extra clear plastic bags for my prints and stuff. We need to put that somewhere. We've got obviously some work to do over here, but it is fun. It's a fun process. I feel like the middle part is always the hardest when everything's a wreck. I need to finish organizing down there. I think we are gonna leave that little rack and Peter's gonna use that as his vinyl cutting station. And then I'll take all my stuff off and put it somehow up here or maybe in these cubbies. I'm gonna put all of these vinyl rolls under here because we don't need to access them every day. They're still accessible, but not as prime real estate as this. And we have a Zoom call in, what, less than 20 minutes? So we're gonna get ready and go downstairs and get set. I think something I have learned over the past seven years of us doing online creative work and running our store is that having spaces that inspire creativity is so helpful. And so even like the simple thing of, you know, a year ago we put the Fry Life established 2014 up on the wall and like it's something that when I walk in the room, it grounds me in the history of what we do here online. And then um, a little bit ago, uh, I was redesigning the website, uh, the online store, and I was thinking about the categories of our products, and I was like, joy, gratitude, and grit. Like, those are the things that we hope to inspire through our products. And so, like, putting that on the wall so that when I walk in this room, I'm reminded this is why we do what we do. And then, like, even I'm designing right now a... Uh, like the Fry Life and script um, to go under this. In the midst of like organizing the room and all the things that need to get done, this kind of seems like a frivolous task. And yet, it I think it's an important task because it will set the mood for this space. Thank you. 
things are coming together in here and I sat at the desk and worked for a little while which felt like a fresh new start to a new season of the Fry Life Store. Speaking of fresh, Mary made some potato soup and we have picnic and worship tonight and I thought we were going to have peanut butter jelly sandwiches but I remembered that last night I chopped celery and onion to make potato soup today mm -hmm. so I just thought I've got the time let me just throw this together and Peter made a little bit of bacon we can put on top Nice. Oh, oh. So everything's I the, what? The last of our garden carrots. Ah, last of the carrots from the garden, and we have this. Uh, uh, is the package gone? It's like um, aged white cheddar. Grass fed. Grass fed. It'll be delicious on top. All right, we are packed up and ready to go. Oh wait a second. A few more things. Bottle of water. All trace and possibly the most important cookies. In the special Tupperware that my grandmother gave me. Now we are ready. Watch him, watch his face. <laughs> Come here, buddy. It's all right, you close the door on me. Oh, hi. Oh, you want special treats? You want special treats every day? You love getting special treats every day, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Get your special treats. Get it, Tuck. Get it. Ah, big one. You get it. Get it. He said, how about you get it for me? Big one. Go ahead. Tug. Big one. Big one. Tug. <laughs> Look at his tail just going constantly. Oh, you want a dental treat. Okay. You gotta close it. Close it. Big one. Go. Oh, boy. Uh, you want... See his smile. Are you smiling for your little dental treat? Does it make your breath smell so good? Oh my. Toodles, poodles, toodles. Toodles. As always. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Don't forget to have joy, gratitude, and grit. And Christmas lights. Yeah.